Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're starting the vlog off by going to the Domain, which is an outdoor shopping center north of Austin. Last night I randomly got the urge to look into getting some new Lululemon leggings and just maybe some biker shorts too. I don't know what they really have. I can't remember the last time I got Lululemons, but I feel like it might have been in college, like early on in college. Like they last so long. But unfortunately, some of my leggings have like holes at the knees. I don't know how that happened, but sometimes when I'm filming or my freelance videography, I get down on my knees a lot, especially when I'm taking photos and stuff. So that could be it. Maybe the concrete did that. So I kind of want to ask them if I will get a discount if I like give them my old leggings because I feel like I remember hearing something about that, but I could be wrong. But I'm not sure what to do with my leggings if they don't take them because it's not like I can sell them at Plato's Closet because there are holes in my leggings. I do have a couple of other ones that either are too big for me, which is a good thing um, and they fall off when I'm trying to run especially when I went to Orange Theory I always made the mistake of wearing these one pair that like would not stay up so we're gonna start off by going to Lululemon getting my leggings and I think Ryan needs to drop a golf club off to the PGA Superstore which is up there at the Domain I'm excited to be vlogging again because I feel like I just have not had the time to vlog if you guys have watched my previous vlogs you know that I had like huge projects due this week kind of I mean sorority recruitment starting next week and I'm basically helping out um, a couple of stories on UT's campus with their recruitment videos. So that has been consuming a lot of my time, which I'm so grateful for. But I'm also so excited to get them done with, have them sent in, and kind of just be done with it. Don't mind the mess in the back. It is currently laundry day. But this shirt I just got from Avicii Dolls and I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing like a try on haul with them on my IG stories. And then I think these shorts are just from like Forever 21. And then I'm wearing my white Air Force Ones. I swear sometimes like when I forget my mask and they give me a disposable mask, I like cherish it now. The new normal. We're gonna go into the PGA Superstore and get my Vokey wedge regripped. The grip on it, it gets like really greasy and slimy like when you use it for like two seconds. So I need Ew. to get a different grip. <laughs> it's the uh, matte for black my, raw finish. For all my boy followers, maybe you'll appreciate uh, this. It's the good one. It's the F grind too. 52. All right. Go let's go in. Except for the grip. So. All right. Let's fix it then. Which one do you get? Which one do you like? Um, the red and gray. This one. Too. The red and black, because you're Georgia. Or oh, this white is cool. <laughs> we're going to wait here for his club to get regripped. So we're going to do a little putting while, we're, while we wait. if I should get some, but I kind of want to look more into the shorts than the leggings, and I thought I was going to get leggings, but I also heard the biker shorts are really cool, so I think I might check that out, but I haven't seen them, so I don't so we're in Tesla now, and I've been thinking about uh, either getting the Model Y or the Model 3 when I turn in my BMW, so we're going to test drive it right now. Okay, so we just got a tutorial on how to use this. Tesla really briefly. What's the model? This is the Model 3. I'm considering either the Model 3 or the Model Y because the Model Y is a little bigger. But I'm actually kind of realizing this is actually a pretty good size. I don't know if I'll need the Model Y. This is pretty comfortable compared to my. So I right now I drive a, a BMW 530e, which is a hybrid BMW, which is why I want to go full electric instead of hybrid now. And he's leasing that car yeah, and it so, ends in yeah. February? So it ends in February. I can either I have an owner's choice, so I can either keep it or turn it back in, but I think I'm going to turn it back in because I really want to go full electric. And I think these are just sweet cars because obviously this tutorial we just had was pretty cool. Yeah, I like this giant iPad, I will say. You know how cool this is? You can split where you want the air to come out of. And these come out of these little vents right here. It's so cool. Yeah, there's um, definitely like a lot to learn once you, if you do yeah, get this car, like, you know? Yeah, it's kind of but like a busy it's super screen. cool, yeah. Yeah, the mirrors and everything like i feel like that's 
something I would be so flustered, like especially if I'm new and I was on the highway and I needed to move my mirrors really quick. Well, you have your driver like, setting, so when you get in with your key or your phone, it's gonna know that you're in the car, so it'll just go to straight to your settings so the mirrors and everything. I guess, but so. Like, <coughs> but if yeah, if, like, if my, my mom was borrowing this car for yeah. me, kind of, she would lose her mind. Yeah. Okay, let's see where my Okay. Okay, ready? You wanna drive? Yeah. I'm gonna put in autopilot now and see how it does on this curve. lets so much light in and whenever I'm in the car in the passenger seat I have a really bad tendency of falling asleep I literally just fall, fell asleep for like 10 minutes on a test drive. <laughs> yeah on a test drive so <laughs> I don't know what's months. wrong with me but <laughs> I just love falling asleep in cars so I think it's gonna be a hundred times worse if Ryan gets a here. Tesla we're arriving at this place called Maddie's. It is a restaurant and I use this place for shoots quite a bit. I actually haven't shot here in so long, but I have a senior shoot tomorrow and um, they wanted to shoot at Maddie's. So I just want to go check it out, um, see if like it's still kind of like open and usable. It looks like it is. I think they closed at um, one on Sunday. So there's still kind of like a couple of cars out here, but on Mondays they're closed the whole day and you can just like come here and just, it's just so pretty, take awesome. a look. Look at these stunning trees. It's such a cool spot to take photos, like especially if you want like those nature, beautiful like sunlight coming through your photos, I really like this place. And they have these really cute um, twinkle lights over there, which makes for a really good bokeh in the back of your photos. So, looks good to me, looks usable. I'm excited for my shoot tomorrow. We just got home and as much as I want to take a Sunday afternoon nap, there's so much to do, like this laundry. So I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha iced latte. I really wanted something like refreshing, like Sprite Zero because I found out that doesn't have carbs. So we actually just placed an Amazon Fresh order on the way home um, and I bought some Sprite Zero. So I might make like a little mocktail tonight, but we'll see. Right now, I'm gonna get some matcha. This is the matcha I've been using lately. I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. I put heavy whipping cream in the frother and then I do like two tablespoons of this matcha powder because I like it really, really matcha-y and just, I need all the energy I can get right now. I just finished my matcha. I put on JC Marie's vlog. I love her vlogs, they're very aesthetic. And now I'm gonna do some laundry. Wish me luck. I put away all the blacks and now I'm just waiting on the colors to dry. So I thought I would do a little Lululemon haul while we wait. This is like the only thing I bought. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, like I literally just went ham on set active. Like I literally bought two new pairs or two new sets and then one other bra to match with leggings I already have. And for some reason, when I walked in the Lululemon store, I think it might have been that like there was just such a long line outside and I felt bad like spending like a lot of time looking and trying on stuff. So I, was, I just got so flustered that I was like, I don't even want them anymore. I feel like it's just so much easier to buy them online and like just like hit order. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, so I didn't get any leggings and I just like don't think they were really what I was looking for. Um, and then I didn't see the, what's it called? Biker shorts that I wanted. That's why I like went into Lululemon. I didn't see them in black. So I was like, okay, I give up. But then I was like, eh, I kind of like want to buy something just cause like I'm, I was here. I waited so long and I needed a like 
nice hat that I could do my freelance stuff in. It is so hot here, y'all. Like, it's disgusting. And I was just telling Ryan, I was like, I think this is like the hottest we've ever experienced. Only because we haven't been outside for a while. So today was really, really hot. Um, and then I have a black hat that I got from like Walmart or something. But what's the material of the hat from Walmart, Ryan? Not like athletic stuff. What? Um, Cotton. So it says it's water repellent and easy to wipe. Um, the interior is like a mesh fabric. So I feel like this is going to be really nice for just being outside and I just wanted like a really cool like black hat. I don't know. It looks weird on me right now, but oh, maybe I need to loosen it. I think I just tightened it. <laughs> um, look. Cute. Oh, don't bet it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what I got from Lululemon. I wish I had like the like Lululemon brand tag thing. I guess it has it really little, but um, yeah, so I just got a hat. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna use this a lot because my friend Sarah has been telling me to wear sunscreen covering my face because she um, has her esthetician license. So she's been giving me all the advice to like lighten my dark spots and she was like, you need to cover your face. Ooh, I have a life update to share with y'all. Let me go get it real quick. Sophie is back and she has a new face. <laughs> I don't know if you guys like remember what she looked like but basically she got all her teeth pulled out and she had the worst underbite and now her tongue just sticks out which is honestly so cute at first i was like really scared of what she would look like and when she first got them out she looked really weird because i think we just weren't used to it but now she looks so cute with her tongue sticking out all the time what do you think do you like not having teeth no Oh, a lot of people have asked me like how she eats and we feed her those like Caesar prepackaged wet um, food. So she doesn't really have a hard time eating because it's not like dry food or anything. Um, but yeah, she got her teeth pulled and it's weird because like at first we were just like, no, that's like a part of her. Her underbite is Sophie. But now we look back at pictures and we're like, ew, that was so... Sorry, Sophie, it didn't look so good. So I'm glad that Sophie is just healthy and back with us because I missed her a lot, but also I forgot what it's like to take care of a dog because you, you have to take them out like a good amount of times during the day and I'm always like super busy or I'm just like so zoned into editing sometimes and I'm like, oh, okay, we have to take her out, you know, but it's okay. I love her and I love her little tongue even though she looks me it's gross Ryan just left to go golfing and I saw that I had a package outside and it is from Olive and June I'm so hyped because I got a package from them like a couple of weeks ago it was their mani kit and I have been painting my nails non-stop lately like every single week i'll make it a point to paint my nails because they they have like these really cool tools to help you paint your nails like really perfectly or even if you're like not that good at painting your nails they just help so much so i've been really liking to use their tools and um after i've been using a couple of their nail polishes and like just trying out their products i have become obsessed so i dm'd them back and said oh my god like i would love to work with you guys please send me a good email to send my media kit to because i've actually done a good bit of reaching out to brands and it's been really working out like if you guys are small creators don't ever be scared to reach out to a brand because i heard this quote the other day. I think it was from the four card podcast. I don't know if you guys know about four. It's like F O H R, but they're like one of those influencer agency kind of things. And basically someone asked him like, Oh, is it better to reach out to brands or just wait for them to come to you? And he was saying that there's so many influencers out there. It's hard for these agencies to find you. Like you're literally just like a fish in the pond pretty much. Like how are they going to find you? So it's always great to reach out to brands. So if you're a small influencer, I highly encourage you to find one brand this week to reach out to and just see what they say. Like the worst answer you can get is no. Okay, but back to Olive and June. I'm so excited because I really wanted like more of their products and they just sent me more. Yay, I got a white poppy and another one. This is super cool. Oh, it's not white, it's nude, even better, I love that. <laughs> this is um, the tool I was talking about, how it helps you to paint your nails. Something about the ergonomics like helps um, you paint with your non-dominant hand. 
So I would really recommend checking this little tool out. It's a universal tool, so it basically slides onto any nail polish um, lid. And this is another tool that I've been really liking. It's just literally a, a little brush, like a little makeup brush. So I've been cleaning up my cuticles because I never really paint inside the line, but that has been making such a big difference when I do my manicures at home. So ah, I'm so excited. This is so funny because I literally just reached out to them, I think on Friday. So they're probably gonna be like, um, you already like receive our packages, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. Definitely go check this brand out. This is obviously not sponsored, it's just gifted. But like I've said, I've tried out a couple of their nail polishes and they last a really, really long time. Like I was doing dishes and everything and they still didn't really chip. Um, so I'm really excited to add these to my collection. Um, but I was actually going to start doing a try on haul for my IG stories. I got sent some stuff from Beachy Dolls and that's another brand I actually reached out to on my own and they literally replied within one day and I was shook because they're like kind of an up and coming really big brand. Like they're already big, but I was really surprised that they didn't take like two weeks to answer. So I reached out to them because I wanted to work with more fashion brands. And this brand has always been on my list of brands to work with. That's also another tip I recommend is to make a list of brands you wanna work with. Like just set a goal, maybe say like by the end of this year, I want at least like two of these brands to work with me. Sometimes it sounds so stupid to like say, oh, you gotta manifest it, but it's worth a shot, okay? So I think I might do that on my IG stories right now. I have some time before I have to go to my shoot tonight. I'm filming a gender reveal and I actually did a gender reveal two weeks ago or one week ago, I can't remember, and they actually referred me to their friend that, who was pregnant. So that definitely worked out, but I'm gonna go film my IG stories before I run out of time. I got a couple of pieces from Beachy Dolls and I wanted to share them with you guys. So first up is this cotton tie-dye tee. It already comes pretty oversized, but I got it in the size large, um, but it's kind of like that vintage band tee kind of vibe and I'm loving it. So we have the Echo High Rise Vintage Denim and I'm a sucker for the trend that is straight leg jeans. It is so flat. I feel like and these just have that extra flair with the cuts of the knees and it's also super high-waisted So that's always a win. It has to be my favorite thing. I got from this haul This is the Alicia polka dot leggings and bra set y'all know I'm obsessed with my neutrals So I'm loving this color, but these leggings are actually super duper comfortable They're not like restricting or anything not too tight. Just perfect Next up is the Live a Little Pocketed Jumpsuit, and I feel like this is going to be perfect when I'm able to photograph events again, especially if they're a little bit nicer. Um, it does have the pockets, which is always a win, hence the name, and then it has this like mesh cutout on the side, which is super cool. This next piece is the Beach Walk Striped Twist Jumpsuit, and I'm only 5'3", but I feel like it makes me look super thin and tall. Um, and also for my big chested girls out there, this is actually a button instead of one of those metal clasps that always come undone, so you'll be safe throughout the night. Next up is a satin tie jumpsuit. I don't know if you guys can tell, like the material is super cool, very breathable, especially for those summer days. And I'm obsessed with jumpsuits recently because you literally just pick out one piece and your whole outfit's done. I just finished filming my Beachy Dolls haul. I just have to go post it now. I always like, for some reason, save the videos and then like post it with all like the captions and stuff. Not that I feel like I will add any captions. I'll probably just tag Beachy Dolls, but I finished and I probably inserted the clips already, but if you guys saw anything you liked and wanna go check out the site, I do have a discount code. It's Denali24, 20% off. Also, I forgot to show you my new Facebook Marketplace find, probably because I wasn't super excited about it because it looked a lot lighter on the picture that was online. So when I picked it up, I was like, this is really dark, but it's okay because I think I'm gonna paint it white let me just show you <laughs> so ryan had those from college from his like house in college and i saw these online and this wooden part was a lot lighter in the picture but i was just thinking i could just go ahead and paint the wood white and then it would look a lot better because i feel like this is just too dark our apartment's so bright and airy especially if you watched our apartment tour a lot of the decor is just not anything black or dark like that i thought it would be fun to try on some of my jeans that were not very comfortable about like a couple of months ago. I was thinking about these the other day and I was wondering if I could fit better into them because I'm not sure if you guys are keeping up with my health journey, but I'm currently doing low carb and I lost like a couple of pounds and I wonder if it's like the inches on my body or just like water weight. So let's see if these jeans fit. Oh, 
I think they're a little, a little tight still. Still got some ways to go, but okay. They zip. Don't mind my athletic top that I'm wearing, but I feel like they fit, well, obviously they fit a lot better because the one time I remember I wore them, I was like very uncomfortable because I just had eaten brunch and I feel like my lower tummy was just like sticking out a lot. Ooh, yes. Also, the last time I wore these, a lot of people were asking me where they are from and they're from Amazon, which is crazy. Um, so I'll definitely go ahead and link them down below. Hopefully they're still online because I got these like my senior year of college. Flare on these pants are astronomical. And I also have these in black. They're just really, really stretchy, honestly. I'm 5'3 for reference and they're kind of long on me, but I honestly like that when the flare goes like on top of like the heels or like the platforms. They look really cute with platforms. So yay, I'm so happy I tried them on. It definitely gives me a lot of motivation when I I can feel and see my progress. I'm about to head to my video gig and I'm wearing my Lululemon hat with my little athleisure outfit. Um, honestly, this shirt was thrifted, but it's Calvin Klein. And then my leggings my sister gave to me, they're from Old Navy. And then I'm wearing my Mizuno sneakers. I'm pretty sure that's dog poop on my shoe if you guys were wondering, so. I just got home from my shoot. Ryan is watching some movie in the back, but. Our Amazon Fresh delivery came, and look at this beautiful sight. This is all I want in life. Really like the lemon LaCroix, and Ryan likes the pumple mousse, and I also like the lemon cello one. It kind of tastes like vanilla Coke, but like not, but I definitely like the lemon the best. It is the next day. I planned to vlog after my shower, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I was super into the Desperate Housewives episodes that we were watching last night. Like, it was getting so good. So I totally forgot to vlog. But last night I was gonna vlog um, me trying this ice cream because as you guys know, I'm doing low carb right now. And this is the Enlightened Keto Collection. This has one gram of net carbs, half a cup. Okay, but that's still pretty good. This is the mint chocolate chunk ice cream. I didn't vlog this, but if you follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen that there's a low carb ice cream shop here in Austin. I was shook when I found out and I was even more shook when I tried it because it was actually pretty good. Like it definitely tastes like a frosty, not super sugary, but the consistency of the ice cream is really, really good. It's like a soft serve ice cream. Um, and actually you can go still watch those stories because I put it under my low carb highlight um, But yeah, I just wanted to try this for you guys because I know a lot of you um, Have been asking me a couple of questions about being low carb um, And I definitely want to share like snacks and uh, meal ideas in the future with you guys I have not been the best at like actually cooking full meals um, even today. I baked this chicken I got from Trader Joe's I thought it was like chicken thighs just like marinated but it ended up being a whole damn chicken <laughs> and I was like what the I did not realize that it was a whole chicken it's so weird um but it was really good I just baked that and had a little bit of that and now I have it for like the next four days because it's a whole chicken you know that's a lot of food and later tonight I don't know why I'm rambling but <laughs> later tonight I have a shoot and it says it's gonna like rain a little bit. So hopefully it clears up because Austin weather is super unpredictable. So it could rain, but it could just say that it's gonna rain and not rain. So I'm kind of just like um, waiting to hear what they wanna do. Okay, I'm gonna go microwave this cause it's taking way too long to get soft. Taste test time. It's definitely not bad. It kind of tastes like lotion. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, I would definitely like to try other flavors because I feel like this doesn't, it's not like that flavorful. Also, I tried to bake cinnamon rolls. Was it yesterday? I don't think it was yesterday, but it probably was the day before. And they did not turn out good. <laughs> and they were keto cinnamon rolls. So I think I gave up on like making baking at least sweet treats for like the keto diet because i'm just like it's just not going to turn out as good as you know normal cinnamon rolls um so that's why i wanted to like get this ice cream to see if like this would be better you know because first of all baking is hard enough but like using almond flour instead of real flour it just like makes it a lot more difficult i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i feel like it's super long i hope you guys enjoyed it and i really want to vlog more often um especially because all of my big projects are 
pretty much done. I have like two more little videos that I have to do, but my freelance stuff is going to slow down in the next week. So hopefully I can focus more on my YouTube channel. If you guys made it to the end of this video, please comment down below whether you read blogs or not. I do have a blog, but I have not posted on it in a really long time and I'm not very consistent on it. I'll be honest because I think I'm more of like a visual creator. Um, I'm not amazing with my words so i think i definitely struggle with that but i have all these pictures that i want to post somewhere instead of instagram because you know instagram could like shut down any day so i kind of want to start blogging again and plus i pay for you know using the website and like my hosting and everything so do you guys read blogs? Should I start that back up? I also want to start linking a lot of my outfits for you guys. Um, so also comment if you guys use like to know it and if you actually shop from the app. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.